now that we've got a chord sequence that we're happy with in the mix, the next thing to do is to try and get some movement around that chord sequence. The best thing to do I find generally is to copy the channel over. So for instance, we will take this channel here. And just copy it by right clicking duplicate. So we have the exact same channel playing on top of one another. On one of those channels, I would choose to put some kind of a, a plug in like a crystallizer or something, something that will really mess up the sound and g give us sort of unexpected uh, results that we can then render down and cut up and put throughout the track to give the track an appearance of sort of moving around and a bit more unexpected. So this works in a pretty simple, pretty simple way. I'll just show you one second. So you can you can see that basically there's a pitch, slice, delay, recycle, gate, dark, threshold and mix. So as you move the mix up, more of the effect will come in. You can use all the default settings as well. Um, I personally just like to sort of have a mess around on it and just record what I'm doing underneath. So we'll set up a, a recording channel underneath. and mute it so that it's not coming through. And then I'll just basically jam and record the audio. So you can see there, you've prob we've probably picked up a lot of rubbish, but there could be some really nice little bits that we can sort of pepper throughout the track just to give it a bit more of an interesting edge. And this is the audio that we've just, uh, just taken. I would then set up a new channel completely, like so. And then just basically go through the audio that we've just recorded and find bits and pieces that we liked. So I'd play it along with the chord sequence. In order to cut things up effectively, I always usually take the grid off. This means you can really sort of get into the bits that you want. So there's quite something quite nice around here, I think. So I'd take off the unwanted stuff. As you can hear, a lot of that's completely unusable, but here's some bits that I took earlier on that can, are a good example of how effective that technique can be. So you can hear things like this are actually made from the chord sequence we already have, but just put through a delay or an echo unit or something like that. 